Hey guys, how's it going? This is Kyle from the All Star Nerds here, and welcome back. Today we're introducing a brand new series to the channel where we dive inside of the franchises we love and discuss the who and what of various topics in their lore. We're very excited to bring this to you guys, so please, stay tuned for more. Experimental Unit Clone Force 99, also known as the Bad Batch, was a Special Forces unit conceived following the death of Clone Trooper 99. Inspired by CT-99's courage and sacrifice during the Separatist attack on Kamino, the Bad Batch was created with genetically mutated clones that had desirable traits. The unit consisted of Hunter, Crosshair, Tech, Wrecker, and later Echo and Omega. Hunter had the ability to sense electromagnetic fields and an unusual talent for leadership. Crosshair, meanwhile, had exceptional vision that allowed him to see targets at extremely long distances. Tech had unusually high intellect that made him skilled in problem solving, decryption, linguistics, tactics, and improvisation. Wrecker, on the other hand, had great strength allowing him to lift objects normal clones could not. And finally, Echo, a former member of the 501st Legion and an ARC trooper who was captured by the Separatists, received cybernetic implants allowing him to essentially become a human droid. Not much is known about their first missions, but their first known mission was on Yalbek Prime before they were summoned by Commander Cody to Anaxis. Arriving on their ship, the Marauder, they met CT-7567, also known as Captain Rex, beginning a friendship that would extend well into the Imperial era. While on Anaxis, they aided Captain Rex with his infiltration of a cyber center, which led them to discovering a signal broadcasting the clone trooper number of Echo, who was believed to be dead at this point. Tracking the signal to Skako Minor, they were accompanied by Captain Rex and Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker to locate and rescue Echo. After rescuing Echo, they returned to Anaxis where they helped defeat the remaining Separatist forces. After this battle, Echo elected to join the Bad Batch officially, feeling out of place with the rest of the clones. Now a unit of five, the Bad Batch set out on numerous missions before being sent to aid in the conquest of Collar. It was during this battle that the now Emperor Palpatine issued Order 66 with their fellow clones turning on their Jedi commander. The Bad Batch, confused and unaffected by the Order, allowed Padawan Caleb Doom, also known as Kanan Jarrus, to escape. Worried the unit was too independent, then Admiral Tarkin had them ordered to hunt down a Separatist remnant as a sort of test, knowing this remnant was actually Saul Guerrera's militants and the innocent refugees they were escorting. Upon realization they were sent to kill innocent civilians, they disobeyed their orders and allowed Saul Guerrera's forces to escape. As a result, they were imprisoned upon return to Kamino with Crosshair betraying the unit and having his already active inhibitor chip amplified further. It was on Kamino they would meet a young clone named Omega, and following their decision to flee the Empire, she agreed to join the remaining members of the Bad Batch. After leaving Kamino, the Bad Batch traveled to Seleucami to seek out Cut Laquane. With the Empire locking down the planet, the Bad Batch helped the Laquanes to escape to safety, with they themselves heading to Pantora for supplies. It was here they encountered mercenary Fennec Shand, who was hired to capture Omega. Fearing for Omega's safety, Echo suggested the group travel to Ord Mantell to meet an old Jedi informant named Sid for information about the mercenary. Trading the intel for a mission, Sid tells them that she cannot find out who hired the mercenary, but that Omega is a high-value target. Offering more missions for money, she convinces them to stick around and operate out of her parlor. They would go on to complete several missions, even encountering a young Harrison Dula and Chopper on Ryloth. Following a fight for Sid's parlor, Captain Rex contacts them for assistance, asking them to help free former clone Captain Gregor from imprisonment. It was on this mission they encountered the first non-clone recruits of the Empire, Stormtroopers. After a botched escape attempt, Hunter ordered the rest of the crew to leave, staying behind to be captured. Following his capture, Crosshair would come and transfer him directly to Kamino. Knowing the Bad Batch wouldn't leave Hunter behind, Crosshair lured them back to Kamino using Hunter's transponder. Despite knowing it was a trap, the Bad Batch returned to Kamino to rescue Hunter, with Omega leading them through a secret entrance via Nalase's private research lab. It was here that the team learned they were created in this lab, with Omega revealing she was there every step of the way. Not making it far, Crosshair would capture them but spare their lives, placing them in the simulation room. Refusing Crosshair's orders, his squad of stormtroopers attempted to kill the Bad Batch, but only resulted in their deaths as Crosshair killed them with a single bullet. Learning of the situation, the Empire ordered the facilities on Kamino to be destroyed, with both Crosshair and the Bad Batch still inside. 
Despite the entire facility collapsing into the sea as a result, everyone managed to escape with their lives. After the tragic loss of their home, Hunter attempted unsuccessfully to convince Crosshair to join them, with him restating his loyalty to the Empire and revealing the fact that he removed his inhibitor chip. Something that was left out of this was the reason why the mercenaries were so interested in Omega, and this is because Omega is only one of two unaltered clones of Jango Fett, the other being none other than Boba Fett. The Kaminoans, desperate to hang on to their contract, attempted unsuccessfully numerous times to get Omega back. This was so they could keep their contract with the Empire and keep producing clones. And although this is the last time that we saw them, we are finding out more and more about them and their continuing adventures with the release of Season 2 of The Bad Batch this month. Make sure to join us every Wednesday for our Bad Batch watch party to see our live, raw reactions and to chat with us about what you think will happen next. As always, stay tuned for more and thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed already, make sure to do so below and press the bell notification to be the first one to know when we upload new content. All of our other social media links will be in the description below. And as always, may the force be with you.